Hello, I am going to be doing something very new here. Well, both new and old at the same time. I, so I've done attempts to like fucking reread Homesick and shit, but it never really like, it, I got a decent bit through it, but I never finished it, you know? I thought, hmm, well, I don't really feel like going back to that. So like, what, what can I do? Well, I've come up with this simple solution. Let's read the unofficial Homesuck collection. Where we're gonna go through everything this has to offer. And, oh man, there's a lot. Every single thing. Everything's gonna get its own thing. I do have a few mods installed. Like here, let me actually go to that real quick. Mods. Yeah, mods. I have Homesuck Commentary, of course, Bandcamp Music Player, so we can play you know, music once it becomes available. I'm reading on the replay mode. So, you know. I have Controversial Content Enabled. Um, I have Seer Ask, which, you know, adds, adds like an unused music track instead of a specific page to that specific page. I have a Demer translation, which will be useful in three pages exclusively. Well, no, one page. One page exclusively. <laughs> um, this Rex do dis dis disum, and how do you say that? Fucking adding the scrapped King Fight animation where it should be in Homestuck. Like the fan made version of it. Morse translator automatically translating Morse code. Easter egg, so I don't missed an easter egg like i found out an easter egg i wasn't even aware of like fucking late last year <laughs> like in late act in mid act six i think fucking social links adding the new stuff to the bottom of the page so we don't have to actively go to a specific page whenever there start being those social link uh but no i just did that homesick epilogues and homesick two which we're not going to be doing for a good while, and honestly, I might be better off doing them on the website, but like, meh, whatever. Might as well. I might as well, you know? That's pretty much, like, all of it, I think. All this stuff that's good to clarify. Young man stands in his bedroom is only today. Hell yeah. I'm gonna leave everything as it should be. Finish homesuck to unlock, yeah. Dark mode. Hmm. Nah. Never saw it. Nah. I think everything else is fine. We're starting at the very, very beginning. Means, like, we'll be going through everything. Um, music. Of course, we're, we're not going to have any music till we actually start Home Second. So, we have some unreleased. We have two unreleased tracks. One being the Problem Sue theme, which you can listen to on YouTube or YouTube. This. Oh. Yeah, about. Meh. And um, we also have We're Making This Happen, which is featured on a Sweep Run Hello Jeff page, of all things. But we'll get to that when we get to that, you know? Hmm. I'm honestly not sure how I will cover this, you know? It's linked to a lot in home stuff, but it just it's not it doesn't become gradually available. I can't even find the release dates of any of the pages. Just a few of the just a select few that were made before home stuff, but beyond that I can't really find like the exact dates any of them were actually uploaded, you know? So I think we're just gonna like read it whenever home stuff links to it. Seems good. Now, you might think we might be starting off with Jailbreak here, right? 
wrong. We're going through Team Special Olympics 2. Gonna go through all of... We're gonna go through these. We'll go through these. Of course, like, touch on these two as well. And then we'll be starting Homestuck. But, oh man. Let's start off with... Well, old comics. <laughs> Before MSPA... I see used to maintain a webcomic site, the most important comics of which can be found here. Some weren't technically part of Team Special Olympics, but that doesn't really matter. Below, you can find a handful of old blog posts and form threads from around the same time period. Several long-running jokes, such as references to Olive Garden and the Saw franchise, friends, franchise that originated here. Yeah. And, well, we're going to be splitting this up into... Four parts. Three, like one for each of these, and then one where you just go Actually no. I'm gonna I'm gonna cover whistles on a chapter by chapter basis. It's like three chapters like three finished chapters and the fourth unfinished chapter with some extra shit, so that's four, five, six, and then seven where we just go through all of these. Oh boy. Seven episodes dedicated to Team Special Olympics. This is promising. Wait, no, that's eight. Yeah, four for this, five. Wait, no. No, it is seven. Yeah. I suck at math. I, I just want to say that. I suck at math so bad. But how about we start off with Whistles, the Starlight Calliope, or Calliope, either or. I prefer Calliope, but I have been pressured to say Calliope for no fucking reason. Anyway. Whistles, a clown in the Starlight Calliope Circus, was beloved by all. One day, an accident nearly cost him his life, and he became exposed to the corrupt underworld of the circus, rife with murder and cannibalism. Forced to flee, the hardships he forced to flee. He experiences the hardships of the world, such as homesickness and prostitution. And, oh man, will this be an interesting read. Yeah, there's there's a lot. That's why I'm split, splitting this up into a chapter-by-chapter chapter basis. So, guess reset Zoom. Whistles. The Starlight Calliope. Oh boy. Chapter 1. Three Ring Spartacus. Oh boy. <sighs> I, I do actually own the physical version of this book. Well, sort of. I fucking... I moved recently, and currently my fucking... I had a friend where... I had a friend holding some of my shit for me, because I couldn't take it immediately. It had to be shipped at a later point. And of that is, like, almost every single homesick book I have, with the exception of Sweet Bro and Hello Jeff and the Quest for the Missing Spoon. Don't ask. But yeah, I, I fucking I put so much effort into obtaining every single conceivable Homestuck book, and I'm so proud of it. I'm unbelievably proud of my collection. But I don't really have anything aside from that one thing right now. Whistles was included in that. I think the only thing I'm missing that's official by any means is probably the for fans, by fans, Homestuck Zine. But like, I don't know. I still consider my collection complete. But anyway. <clears throat> Once in mere innocent times, the wandering starlight Calliope Circus was the most beloved show on Earth. Minstrels blew lively melodies through their salsimoniums and har harmonophones. Lions all but tamed themselves, then used nimble paws to free themselves from straitjackets of the water. All great big kettles overflowed with warm, swelled corn, with which children filled their eager mouths, all for but three pennies. But the single attraction most dear to the people was this clown. Not any clown, mind you. A slender, lithe, 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 lithe clown with a high-pitched voice named Whistles. He had not any unusual talent. His joke's not funnier than the next clown's. His pratfall was not more daring. But he had a huge heart. The crowd adored him as if he were family, and the truth, he was. 
his master, the most renowned man in show business, was Phineas Pendlecote, a grisly bear of a man with a grisly-sized heart. He knew he had a very bright star in whistles. He became like a father to the clown and looked after him at all times, and in return, Whistles was as devoted to his master as one could be. Indeed, as all the performers and fans knew, Pendlecote loved Whistles, and Whistles loved Pendlecote. For years, they put on a show for you for euphoric spectators, until that one tragic day that forever changed the star like Calliope. Whistles was emptying the better part of a soda bottle into his face while merely capering. It was an evening to behold his performance won for the books when the soda bottle exploded. This started the clown driving the tiny fire engine, causing him to veer suddenly over Whistles, over Whistles' ankle, crushing it. Oh boy. <laughs> uh. Boy. The scream was a first in Whistle's life not attributed to joy. Pendlecote's solemn public duty then followed before a hushed morning crowd. And now I have to figure out voices for these guys. So this is a high pitched voice and like Pendlecote is described as a bear, so like low voice, so <clears throat> M Master, I, I I'm scared. What will Will I see you in Cloud Hollow? Shh! Lie still, brave lad. Tsk, tsk, my lad. You know the moment I pass to the next world. I will hop on the first boxcar to Cloud Hollow, and we shall have the biggest, most famous show in either world. Now, lie still for this pinch. The next one you feel will be that of an angel. I can't wait! We'll refine the voices as we go on. I, I wanted to tell my master. It's I, I wanted to tell my master. It's not as if I would ever lie to him. I just forgot it was there with all the commotion. It was my fake arm I used for stunts. That's why I didn't feel the needle. Why I didn't feel the needle pinch. I used it for hilarious antics. Not that I'll ever be doing stunts again with this leg. Oh, master, why couldn't I have told you? That smell. It smells like the mess tent. Is it supper time? What is this place? Oh boy. You know, with how simple Homesick's art style is for the most part, and really just MSPA adventures as a whole, it is easy to forget that, like, Hussey is a genuine artist who actually went to art school. Like, this is a shit he was making before MSPA Adventures. And, like, God. Excuse me, chum. I'm, I'm a little lost. My master needs to give me an injection. Could you please direct me to the exit? <laughs> ah, yeah, good, good thing. This will be faster, but it looks like you missed, so I don't want to try again. Hey, wish whistles. Come with me. You have to see something. That smell. These are all clowns like me? Yes, Whistles. Like you. All clowns have expired status come here. They are processed and fed to the performers and spectators. Oh, man. D -d Delicious! Uh, Do you have a plate? Uh, yeah. Whistles! <laughs> it's me, Jingle Puss! I was just standing a few shows ago. Oh, hi, Jingle Puss. I I'm still alive, barely. I <coughs> don't have much time, Whistles. Look at this. <coughs> we need you. This has to stop. Are you listening? Oh, yeah, I'll be there in just in one second. This flank is just so tender. Whistles, please listen. Don't you see what's happening? The circuit <coughs> It's a losing of a force! It is built on our bones inside you! Rivers of our blood flow just beneath the blinding lights in the big top! Our race is under siege! <coughs> our race 
humans? No, I... I mean, well... Our, our, our class. <laughs> Clowns! Yes, Wizzles, we're all doomed! The cleaver is held to our throat by the butcher himself, Ringmaster Pendlecoat! Oh, but, but that's silly. Master Pentacle has all our best interests in mind. He loves us all. His bloodlust knows no bounds. He will die on our flesh and laugh at the <laughs> Sorry, Whistles. Just doing my job. He was marked for a slow cooked clown brisket. Gotta start cooking. I understand. I will miss him. As will I, Whistles. It is time for you to go outside into the world. What? Go? Oh, no, no, no. I've never been outside the circus. Where would I go? I must return the master. He hasn't finished business with me, and I cannot disappoint. Can I at least have some of that tenderloin to the road? Oh, boy. And seriously, look at the shit. Like, oh, my God. It's so fucking wonderfully put together. Like... Again, just Hussey is a genuine artist. Knows what he is doing. And I fucking love it. Oh boy. And then we have this double wide shot. This took up like an entire fucking two pages in the book. It's great. Like just this massive fucking circus is so interesting and boats she's yeah jaspers yeah god there's just so much interesting stuff here like it's a whole unique world like that's just that's another thing hussey's always been good at like at least this is like extremely apparent in homestuck the fucking world building so much thought over just this fictional world this one's a lot more fantastical like homesick's kind of like rooted in reality and the fantastical stuff comes from a different plane of shit like a different reality of sorts but like this oh man oh fucking man <laughs> hello is this a circus if so i believe you could use some work or lights lights would help and a uh, tent well, I'll be bur a breakdancing fetus. Whistle's a clown. Yes, sir. I, I heard you. I, I heard you're tired. It's some kind of accident, boy. You're a great kid. I, I, I was. Thank you. I, I guess you'll be looking for work now. Hmm. Yes, I guess I am. Do you need any performers? Yeah, we need a sort of performer. You will look. You look to have the stuff of one of my stars. This is a male prostitute's outfit. Okay, will there be lion taming involved? Um, I don't think you follow. You'll be a gigolo. Oh, I see. So trapeze artist. So uh, well, I need to supply my own balloons. <sighs> L let me explain. See, sometimes wealthy, unattractive ladies get very lonely. I don't follow. All right, take this water bottle here and say this pie here represents a woman's intimate region. Okay, so what do I do with the pie? <laughs> this is your first assignment. Remember, you work on tips, so show her some of that starlight calliope spirit. Hooray! Here we go. Fucking. Jeez, yeah. Fucking perspective work is also, like, amazing. Like, literally, this last page. Look at, like, this. And then going into this. They, like, yeah, the perspective work is so fucking good. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. Damn, I'm gonna die trying to do this. Close the door behind you. Wow, he he said you would be un he said you would be unattractive. You're only moderately unattractive. 
Now, now, I know you Jasper's boys work in tips, so save your sweet talk. You'll earn it when I see you in action. A bit scrawny for my taste, but a fine pedigree, I understand. So, am I paying you to, am I paying you to just stand there? Oh! For fucking room. <laughs> oh, cock! Click. Hell yeah. And so, and so, it was. This was in a second life, built a second reputation among certain, certain circles. Not as Whistle the Clown, but as Throttle the Jackhammer. His clientele list expanded like a pre twisted balloon animal, which was incidentally the name of one of his specialties. While he excelled at the entertainment of others, as he always had, there remained a hollow place. A new life, a new world, yes, but was he happy? Ex extraordinary fucking yeah. Extraordinary slender soft hands, but surprisingly strong and nimble. I'm sure you've never seen anything like it. I'll make a special case for an old customer like you. Throttles <laughs> I'm not sure why the scam has taken living in this box. He seems to like it. Actually it's pretty uncomfortable, wasn't it your idea? Throttles I'd like you to meet your new clients. I don't think he has a pie. <laughs> Jeez. So, Throttles, I hear you're rather flexible. I hope so, because I'm tired of having their spines snapping like so much brittle. Oh, wow! Immediately jumps out and they're just dead. Immediately dead. But yeah. Starlight Calliope, a new star gum gumbling. I fucking love that. He just immediately fucking dies. <laughs> like e even before I was like, Hussey was fucking Hussey loved killing off characters. <clears throat> and a new star. Oops. Okay, this one will be half pr half price. This one will be half price. Oh, it's me, Mickey Mouse. Oh, I, I, I'm trying. I'm trying to be like not Mickey Mouse, but oh boy. A uh, new star of the circus? I, I guess I can't blame Master. Like he says, the production must proceed. The people deserve that much. But even so, I can't help but feel I should be a part of it. It's who I am. I mean, I've been working for two months straight on a broken ankle. I could certainly handle the old act again. It's only healing on a slight angle from my leg. I don't know. Maybe Chikupas is right, and I should be worried. Uh-oh. Just thinking about him made me hungry. No! I don't care what he said. I have to go back to Master. Here I come. Let's go. Starlight Calliope next up. You have to actually get on the bus. Of course. <laughs> God, I'm sorry. I'm fucking just fawning over the art style so much. It's just extremely, extremely good. Meanwhile, backstage at the Starlight Calliope... Gumlin, sir, your third page of backup shoes is ready. I should, I should go for, a, for my, more of a crusty type of... Gumlin, sir, your third pair of backup shoes is ready. So yeah, you can kind of like get the clown to survive, but still like very unclown like Awesome. Alright, now... What? I feel like I've already used a voice out with you. But like, now I have to make it stick. Yeah, like the fucking guy that immediately died, like... I feel like that voice would fit him, but like I wasn't really trying that hard on it, knowing how fast he dies. So, but you, the voice has a stick for you. Ah, <laughs> ah, uh, 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 Flippy, you are a king among craftsmen. I never see the marvel at the precision of your work. Sublime, tag these and freeze them in locker C. Um, yes, sir. C Gumblin, you, you use priest shows bubble bum spritz, bu bubble gum split, sir. Splendid, Doobie. My gratitude. But it seems an errant bit of scrap has clung to the moisture of the glass bottom. 
prince discard it kindly. Hey, it's silk, scrap goblin, read it. We're mobilizing and we need you more than anyone. Then this is a si- 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 this is a seditious leaflet. Your intended to be to this. I and all civil performers frown most grievously on, my, on such gestures. I'll not have it under this tent. No! Gumblin, please! It's all true! All of it! Penduco is a monster! No clown is long for this world here! We are all marked, even you! I saw them turn my grandmother into hamburger! There's nothing wrong with her! She wasn't even sick! Hmm. It's... I, I'm afraid it's all true, sir. All may be discussed in good time. For now, the show is imminent and we must prepare. Later, we will engage the issue again with our rational minds. Now leave me as I must perform my cleansing pranayam. Honk. <clears throat> oh boy. I've never seen the circus as a spectator. All these people are so excited, I guess they want to see the new star. <gasps> I'm sure they have good reason. He's probably amazing. I usually enjoy the pre-entertainment sideshows a lot, but now I'm just anxious for the show to start. I'm a little nervous. But why should I be? I'm home again. Even if things aren't the same. That's not him, right? Yeah, it's not. It's just some guy who looks like him. God, you're a gristle loaf! Pipe a juicy gristle loaf! A penny for the loaf! Dad, Dad, there's a cloud nose in my loaf. They're an acquired taste, son. Better. B bitter, but full of flavor. <sniffs> Backstage. I, I sense a fog descending on the starlight calliope. May the light of my mind's inner silence show me the truth. Flippy, my trust has always been yours. Is there really merit to your claims? Whistles, the former star of the circus, your departure at time, yes, but why do you haunt my vision now? Doodlebean, your earnest youth from you, I sense pure intentions as well, but are you a mere messenger, or is there more to expect from your role? And Master Penalcode, to you my loyalty is sworn. I sense from you... There's darkness just behind you. It is an indistinct pestilence under the floors, woven into the very fabric of the big top. I can barely focus. The question mark is fixated not on you, but on everything. The shadows are ominous. Blast my distractions. Time for the show. <laughs> Fucking this, this silly little clown cat. Oh my god, never noticed this. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking. I'm seeing. Now that I'm like on a screen, like zoomed in, I'm kind of noticing some things I ha never did on the book. I prefer. I prefer physical media, but like. Damn. There's so much merit to digital shit, too. Oh boy. And, and now, ladies, and now, ladies and gentlemen, prepare to buckle in the abdomino, ab, abdomino region in astonishment. I present to you our newest edition and bonus star yet, Goblin the Clown! <laughs> Unbelievable antics! Surely the best clown yet! Hard stopping yet hilarious! Yes, but I do miss Whistle so. I hear he has oh, only 0.04% body fat! I can't breathe! I think this man is choking on his crystal loaf. Master! <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Just like throw him for no reason. It's great. I have to get a little closer. Maybe Master will notice me. You fucked up. I, I love how he just immediately accidentally sabotages the act. <laughs> Not his intention whatsoever, but he fucking. That's what he did. <laughs> Pendercoat's solemn, solemn public duty then followed for a hushed morning crowd. This fucking clown. Oh boy, already <clears throat> his first show. 
So much promise, but you're a star too bright for this world. La you're, br you're a star too bright for this world, lad. Clearly, Cloud Hall has claimed you early for its throne. <laughs> that should be me! I, I see now the worst is confirmed, sir. You are found to be a, a heartless profiteer, barbarian, as a gentleman, you masquerade! Brock, Swaddle, my boy. I do what I must be done. Your cruel injury alone has robbed you of your birthright as star performer. Your duty to relieve you from this indignity falls on my shoulders, pain me though it does. I am true to my responsibility, as we all must be. My arm is not even broken, sir. It's fine, you see. Now lie still, lad. The surer the bullet's path, the more brief will be the discomfort. Damn fool! No! Master, I should be your star! Shoot me! <gasps> it is Wizzles, he's back! Wizzles the Cloud is back! <laughs> well, now someone's arm is broken. <laughs> Master Penalc- Master Penalcoat! The only thing you mastery over is a ch- char- char- lantery. The sooner this insidious pox is lifted from the circus, the more swiftly the honor of all performers and fans shall be restored. Uh, careful there, lad. When the heat tempers get the best of us, we're surely around the corner. And where is your regret, sir? Your sorrow for the blood spilled. What's doodle being right? How many innocent performers have fallen? Rumper. Boy, I, I say, I can hardly keep track of each trifling affair in this. And your legendary star whistled to Cloud. I imagine he too was struck down needlessly. Was it not enough having done it once already? The grit and spirit he survives reappears with an act of gallantry, only to be victimized again by your bloodlust. Who is who tried to save him? Gagabla is right, Medalco is a monster. How could he do this to our beloved whistles? His reign of brutality ends tonight! Oh boy. And they just start fucking ripping away at him. Oh my god, I like that one fucking scene in Smiling Friends. Stop! Please stop! It's whistles. He's okay. What a truly great clown liberator of the circus, and now he shows compassion. Welcome back, Whistles. You are truly worthy of your legend. Uh, you... You... Animals! Prop, prop, fucking jumps up. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, yeah, fucking... Quite the fucking attack. They're burning. Fucking, he, no one expected this. Fucking hoy, oh boy. Quick escape with him. Oh boy. And next chapter. A clown fled with a clown fed. Oh boy. I think this is like a little buffer page. Yeah. Like a good thing to really end on. <laughs> so, that was the first chapter of Whistles. Oh boy. I'm gonna note this story was never actually finished. It has the reason chapter 4 is unfinished, it's because, well, the first three chapters were in the first book and it was cool. But only the first three... Oh, well, the first three chapters. I said three, right? First three chapters in the book. Chapter four was... The next book was going to be, like, four to six, I think. I don't know. Like It was planned to have eight chapters total. So we have roughly half the story. But, yeah, it's over. It's not coming back, which sucks. Because, like, yeah, this is, like... One of Hussey's earliest actually published works, as far as I'm aware. And yeah, it definitely sucks, but yeah. I would like the full thing, really.
but you know. While we're here, you know, before we end off, there's like a little more section here. Looking for more? Oh. Okay, never mind. Shock, shock full of spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Worry about it later then. That's pretty much it. News should be empty. What up? Th yeah, there's a little news, but you know, it doesn't really matter right now. Credits. Yeah, credits that we probably shouldn't look at that much. I know it's a credit for the collection, but you know. I think that's pretty much everything there really is to look at. If we go to log, we can see logs for every individual thing, but like, because of how it is. Yeah, it only shows the logs of the pages we've read. And yeah, we can see this is where problems have started, but that's about it. You can see when all the things part, press, all the things jailbreak, except the last page for some reason. Jesus Christ, all bar quests are like in a single day, minus the last page. I did not know that. Yeah, fucking Hussy gets on the grind when he wants to. Like, Home Sucks update page is really something to behold. And, like, it did not start with Hope Suck. But, yeah, we're, we're going to leave this off here. Next time, we'll be reading Chapter 2 of Whistles. Yeah. We're ultim we're going to go through everything. Of the, like, after, after we finish this, we're probably going to go through everything by fucking posting date. So, like, these in the order they're listed. Well, hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do that in the order of their list. We're, we're just going to finish Team Special Olympics, move on to these, and then finally this. Seems like a good idea. Yeah. Probably do these. I don't know when we'll do these. We'll figure it out. The news, anything else, like anything that's still unlockable, we're going to do like as it unlocks. All right. That seems like a pretty good idea. So like, fucking, yeah. So like this thing, reach page one thousand one hundred fifty three of home suck to unlock. We'll read that like when right when we unlock it. Same with the news post. Like I have a. I'm just gonna go here. There's a little news section like all the news posts will appear in as they were quote unquote posted. There's nothing on this because like the first the news didn't even have anything until fucking Bard Quest, but like yeah, it's pretty much everything though. We're gonna move on. We're gonna end this episode and we'll continue later. If you watch this, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. See you. Goodbye.